Hello everyone, this is JD from Benchmark and today I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to post-process dynamic data start to finish in GeoSolution. Here you'll see the main window. GeoSolution is pretty nice to deal with because it has five clearly outlined steps. The project manager, data import, baseline process, adjustment process, and then the result. So step one, we go to the project manager and create a new project. Give the project a name and select the file path to save it. Next, click coordinate system and then click coordinate system manager. If you know what coordinate system you are working with, this will ensure that you have all the correct settings. I was working with UTM zone 11, so I'll just click it and then click select. I'm going to check that all my settings are correct and then click OK. This is just a precaution though. I shouldn't have to change anything if I selected the proper coordinate system, but it's always good to double check. I've also finished with my project notes, so again I'll click OK. Step 1 done. Step 2 Importing Data. Click Data Import and to start, click Observation Data. You'll now have to navigate to wherever your data is saved on your computer. For myself, I kept it in the folder called My GeoSolution Data. Simply select all of your points of the same file type and then click Open. You may have to wait a bit, but soon your files will show up. Make sure that you have the measured height of the units here and double check these values since even a small error will propagate further down the line. Next, check your data type. Whatever you used as a base should be declared as static and everything else should be declared dynamic. After I hit OK, you can see the dynamic data types have a running man icon while the base has an up arrow. If this isn't the case, you'll have to change its data type. Now, we have to tell the software which point we used as a reference. So simply right click your base and move down to select use as reference. That opens a settings box where you can set the reference to a known point and elevation. Click the boxes to set the horizontal and vertical positions. If you know the exact point of your base, you can edit the values to match your known point here. Click OK and check the time map tab. If it shows that your base was operational for longer than all of your rovers, then you're good. And that's step two done. Step three, baseline process. Open it up and click dynamic settings. Here you can adjust anything GNSS related you want. The default settings are pretty good, but a lot of guys prefer a 10 degree cutoff angle for their satellites, but that's up to you. Once you're ready, click OK and then click baseline process. You may have to wait a while as your computer solves each position. I'll speed this up to save time, but it took about a minute in real time. When it finishes, you'll see that I have a single dynamic baseline. Now take a look at the plane map down here and confirm that the salt positions match the route that your rover took. If it looks good, step three done. Step four, the adjustment process. First, click adjustment settings. It's highly recommended that you use the default settings unless you have a good handle on what these can do. Once you're happy with them, click OK and then click adjustment processing. Unfortunately, I don't have enough baselines to get an adjustment report, but it should look something like this. And that's step four done. Step five, results. First, let's take a look at the data by clicking view dynamic data. At the top here, you can select which baseline to examine. I only have one, but you may have more. If you don't see anything, play around with these boxes at the bottom. As you can see, all of my points are track points and most of them are green, meaning they're fixed, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Now that we've checked out our points, it's time to export them. Click dynamic coordinate file and you'll see this data export window. Select which baseline you want exported, if not all of them, and then select which file type to export them to. At the bottom, you can filter out certain points, say getting rid of all points with a single solution. Once you're ready, click export and pick which folder to save them to. Then click OK. To show you that it was successful, I'm gonna open up the raw Excel data we just collected. As you can see, I have all the position and precision data that was collected right here. 
And that's about it. Please consider liking and subscribing, it really helps us out. And if you have any questions about this video or about any others on our YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit our website at bench-mark.ca.